Okay, so now we have uh, the privilege to introduce the 2018 inductee to the St. Mary's College Athletic Hall of Fame. And that is Mandy Bible. So before I speak about Mandy, in addition to her family and friends here, I do want to acknowledge the loud crowd over here, which is our own St. Mary's volleyball team. So it's great that you came to uh, support Mandy. A three-time All-West Coast Conference honoree, Mandy graduated as one of the most accomplished players in the history of the St. Mary's women's volleyball program. She ended her career as a Gale first in total assists with 5,362, first in assists per game with 12.5, first in service aces, 128, first in service attempts, 1,980, second in block assists, 400, and ninth in digs, 939. There you go. During her sophomore campaign, Mandy and the Gales made an impressive run into the NCAA tournament, only to fall to the University of Washington in the Sweet 16. However, the Gales defeated the eventual national champion, Stanford, twice that season. Mandy also earned the National Player of the Week honors. And then from 2009 to 2015, Mandy, Mandy continued her playing career in several parts of Europe. She began her career as a member of the OK Luka Koper Volleyball Club in Slovenia, winning a bronze medal in the 2010-2011 season. After taking 2013-14 off, she then resigned with OK Luka Koper and earned an award as the best setter in Slovenia while helping the club reach the finals of the Slovenian Cup. When I arrived at St. Mary's in 2005, the team was in limbo. They didn't have a staff for a couple of months. Mandy was the transition factor for sure for that team. She took a team that finished in the Sweet 16, that defeated Stanford twice her sophomore year, and she led them in the gym while the coaches were gone. She embodies everything that you would want in a student athlete. Uh, both in the conference and in the institution. She was extremely successful on the court and part of the most successful team St. Mary's has ever had and a leader on that team. We were fighters. We worked really hard and spent a lot of hours in the gym. Kind of always had that underdog feeling, like we had something to prove and fight for. As an athlete at St. Mary's, Mandy's greatest gift was her ability to make her teammates around her better. She was an outstanding player herself and one of the best that's ever played in the conference and at St. Mary's. But her ability to get her teammates to play great and to elevate their play is really one of the things that sets her apart. I like to joke with our team that my records will stay forever just because I can put them on the bench whenever I want. But in all honesty, um, records are great, but they're just numbers, and I owe it all to my teammates for sure, 100%, especially as a setter. I mean, assists, I could throw up the worst set in the world, and they would make something great out of it. One of the things that makes St. Mary's special, one of the biggest things, is the community, this feel of community and the sense of community. And Mandy Bible's the type of person that makes that community what it is, makes it so great. She is has been involved in almost every aspect of the community, both as a student athlete, as an employee in the athletic department, and now as a coach working with student athletes. And so she strengthens that community, that thing that sets St. Mary's apart. She's a big part of that. And uh, when I hired Mandy, I knew that I was hiring all of a sudden the most popular employee on campus because she knows everyone from every corner of campus. Sorry for the rowdy crowd, they'll be leaving shortly. <laughs> um, thank you first to the Alumni Association. Uh, this is my first time at this event and it's a fantastic one. I'm just so humbled to be surrounded by all of these honorees um, as an athlete, a student athlete, and a female student athlete at that. I want to say thank you to the college and our athletic department for supporting the Hall of Fame, and I'm most proud and honored to be representing someone from the St. Mary's volleyball family. Um, there are so many volleyball players who deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Like I said in the video, um, volleyball is a team sport. At, you can, cannot win um, by yourself, and so this award truly goes to all of my teammates, 
uh, all the St. Mary's volleyball players before and after, and hopefully for many generations to come. Um, one of our family mottos, I have to say thanks to my family as well, is that everything happens for a reason, and so finding St. Mary's through the recruiting process is just a blessing. I, I don't know why or how it happened, but I know I knew the minute I stepped on the campus that this was where I belonged. And again, everything happens for a reason. And so when I was playing in Europe and planning on coming home and bringing my husband with me, Rob happened to call and say he had a position open. And coaching Division I athletics is not an easy job to get. And for him to give me that opportunity was just another Everything happens for a reason, and I get to come home. So I'm so blessed to be here, and I love my job so much. It's a testament to the school and the community, and uh, everyone, every little person, and makes such a big difference. So the community, again, is what makes St. Mary's so special, and there's nowhere, nowhere else you'd rather be, right? So the only thing else, the only else, the only thing else I can say is Gail's womb. Thank <laughs> you.